look at this beautiful flower. Is that amazing or what? And look, there's a bumblebee on it, pollinating the flower. This is an amazing place. I was just walking along and all of a sudden, here it is. Let's take a look at some of the other flowers in this amazing garden. Overlapping. Creating depth in artwork by placing one object in front of another. Overlapping occurs in nature. In this flower, you can see these petals on the top of the flower overlap the petals underneath the flower. And that gives the flower depth when you look at it. For this project, you will need one piece of cardstock, several different pieces of construction paper, the color of your choice. You'll need scissors if you're cutting out your petals. And you'll need glue or a glue stick. You'll need a pencil, and a marker. Use your pencil to draw three circles on your cardstock. Start with the smallest one in the middle of your paper. And I'm going to take a marker and go over the circles to make them darker so it's easier to see them. Okay, you're gonna start with your outside band and use your largest petals. You should have three different sizes of petals, large, medium, and small. Okay, so we're gonna start with the large petals and you're gonna glue the inside narrow part of the petal anywhere inside this band I'm going to use regular white glue. And then you want to put them close together, but not overlapping. Okay, and you're going to go all the way around. After you've glued all your large petals, you're gonna go back in and glue the medium sized petals between the two large petals inside this band. For the last layer of petals, they'll be glued inside this small circle. You can mix and match the colors too. Your last step will be to place a shape in the middle of the flower. You can play around with it, see what you like. Take your time and enjoy the process.